very good morning everyone today it's turn to read out a poem to understand a poem as you can see the name of this poem is home they brought her warrior dead home they brought her warrior dead warrior this warrior is a soldier is a fighter who fights on the border so this poem as you can see the name whom they brought her warrior dead means the soldier is no more now his dead body has come to his home you can imagine this sad situation what would happen to his family now when they would come to know about the death of their loved loved ones so this poem is a very sad poem it is not only a poem but it is a reality it is something which happens to many of the families of a soldier so this is not only a poem it is a feeling it is an emotion this is happening for many years the people those who are fighting at the border anything can happen to them at any time their life is in risk they are fighting at the border because of us to keep us safe to keep us happy in our own house let us read out this poem and see what happens to the family when the dead body of a warrior comes to the home let's have a look to your book so the poem is home they brought her warrior dead here before reading this poem let us see the poet of this poem the poet is alfred lord tennyson alfred lord tennyson is a british poet he has written many poems he is a poet of 18th century now in this poem he writes whom they brought her warrior dead she nor snoored nor uttered a cry all her maidens watching said she must weep or she will die so these are the first four lines of the poem the first stanza here the first line says whom they brought her warrior dead she nor snoored nor uttered a cry it means when they brought the dead body of the soldier in the home she means who is this she here she is the wife of the soldier the warrior she nor snoored snoored means become unconscious means a kind of senseless you can say she did not cry after seeing the dead body normally when we come to know about the death of our loved ones or about someone who is very special to us we burst into tears but here this was not the case the wife of this soldier she became senseless there was no tears in her eyes she did not cry at all she was just quiet she was not crying she was not shouting all her maidens watching said she must weep or she will die so everybody was saying that if she doesn't cry she will die because sometimes we get a shock by listening to some news which are unexpected or we are not ready for something and that thing happens to us something bad incident when we are not ready for some incidents and it happens suddenly and we are not ready then we get a shock in the same way the wife of this soldier has got a shock she was not crying at all she was not shouting everybody was saying everybody whoever was watching they were saying that she must weep it means she must cry if she doesn't cry she will die so it's 
compulsory to cry for her now see the next line then they praised him soft and low called him worthy to be loved truest friend and noblest foe yet she neither spoke nor moved now they all tried to make her cry what did they all do they just praised him it means they started praising the soldier in a soft and low way they said that he is worthy to be loved truest friend and noblest foe so he deserve our love he was a true friend and he was a noble foe foe means enemy it means he has never cheated anybody he has fought bravely he deserves our love so what did they do what were they saying all these things about the soldiers actually they were talking about the soldiers in front of his wife so that she can understand that they are talking about my husband who is no more now they are saying that he is worthy to be loved it means he deserves our love he was a very good friend of us and not only a friend he was a noblest he was the noblest foe means the noblest enemy but whatever they were saying nothing was going into his wife's ears she neither spoke nor moved it means she did not utter a word so everyone was trying to make her cry but crying is not possible for her now because what will she cry she is not ready to speak she is not ready to move her body has become like a stone she is neither speaking to anyone nor moving from her place she was stunned she was in a shock and that shock was not allowing her to cry speak or move now the next line says stole a maiden from her place lightly to the warrior stepped took the face cloth from the face yet she neither moved nor wept here you see stole s t o l e stole here it means moved silently so one lady moved silently from her place and lightly to the warrior stepped slowly slowly she went near the warrior's dead body and then suddenly she took the face cloth from the face it means the body of the soldier of the warrior was covered with a cloth one lady slowly slowly went near the body and she removed that cloth from the face they all thought that if she sees the face of the warrior of her dead husband she may burst into cry she may start crying loudly and finally she will believe that her husband is no longer alive that's why they took the face from the face they took the face cloth from the face but what happened after seeing the face even the lady could not believe that her husband is no more she could not believe that husband is no longer alive and she did not move she did not cry so till now everyone was unsuccessful nobody could make her cry everybody was thinking about that lady that if she doesn't cry she will die with a shock how can she live her life now the next four lines says rose a nurse of 90 years 
set his child upon her knee. Like summer tempest came her tears. Sweet my child, I leave for thee. Now hear what happens. A lady of 90 years old, she comes up and she brings the child of the dead warrior. She brings the child and she gives it to the lady, to the wife. Now, when she sees her own child who is on her knee, like summer tempest came her tears. It means it was like a storm. Here the word tempest means storm, rainstorm. So the tears came like a storm, like a tempest. And she finally burst into tears. Finally she believed that her husband is no more. The warrior is no more. As, as she saw her child, she wept, she cried like anything, she cried loudly and she said that, my sweet child, I will leave for thee. Here, T-H-E-E, thee means you, I will leave for you. So the lady, finally, she decides to leave her life with her child. She cries a lot. She believes that her husband is no more. The warrior is dead. And finally, she decides to leave with her child. She finally decides to leave for her child. And this was the poem of a sad motion where a warrior is dead and the condition in a warrior's house. So as we can see, it's a poem, but it is also a real story of many, many warriors' family. So this lady, who has become a widow now, is ready to live her life with her child. But she has to be very strong. She has to be very diligent. She has to take care of her child and the whole family. A lady without her husband is a widow and it's very difficult to live this life. She has to take care of her child all alone. Such a difficult task for a mother. But a warrior's wife, a soldier's wife is always ready for this difficult task. Now, this was a poem which touched to the heart and we feel that the warriors are the great people, the real heroes. And they, what they do for us, nobody can do. We are safe in our home because of these warriors. So, there is a huge salute to all these warriors and especially to their family members. Because they are brave. And their family members are braver. Because in many family, those who love their son, husband, brother, they won't allow their family members to go in a border to fight. But we must say that the wives, the mother and the sisters of a soldiers are braver than the soldiers. Because they have a great heart they not only the soldiers they sacrifice for us but their family members also sacrifice for us so there is a huge salute to the warriors and the family members of these warriors now let us see the glossary part the word meanings the first word is warrior w-a-r-r-i-o-r warrior here the meaning is given, a soldier good at fighting. But you can also write only a soldier would be enough. Next one is snood. S-W-O-O-N-E-D, snood. It means became unconscious, became unconscious. 
third one is stool s t o l e stool stool means moved silently moved silently next one is fo f o e fo fo means enemy fo means enemy next tempest tempest means storm in the ocean storm in the ocean let's discuss the question answer now the first question is how do you think the warrior lost his life how do you think the warrior lost his life we think that the warrior as he is in the border or he is fighting with the enemies at the border during the fight or war he must have lost his life now you can write this answer in your own words in your own way that warrior lost his life at the border during war you can write it in your own way now coming to the next question what was unnatural with the warrior's wife so you can write the unnatural thing with the warrior's wife was that she was not crying or you can write this answer bigger than this like the unnatural thing with the warrior's wife was that she was neither crying nor speaking a word okay now next one what did the maidens do to make her cry maidens did many activity to make her cry like the first of all they started praising the warrior in different way then they removed the cloth from the face of the dead body and finally they brought her child in front of her to make her cry next why did they want her to cry so why did they want her to cry in answer to this question you can write they wanted her to cry because they felt that if she doesn't cry she will die or you can write in this way they wanted her to cry because they wanted to save her life and they wanted to make her normal okay so you can write and in any way as i said that you can write in your own way so what answer is coming in my mind i am saying i am discussing with you you can write it in your own way now coming to the last question okay who succeeded in making the women cry once again i am repeating the question who succeeded in making the women cry i think this answer is known to you just now we read this poem so who succeeded there was a 90 years old nurse so you can write this answer in this way a 90 years old nurse succeeded in making the women cry okay so this is my answer you can write in your own way these all answers you can write it in your own way by the way fifth number once again i am re repeating you can also write 90 years old lady succeeded in making the women cry so now it is up to you how you are going to represent your own answers and these were just few questions of this lesson but there is a separate worksheet in where you will get some stanzas some questions that you have to answer i mean some comprehension stanzas you just solve the worksheet part if you have your worksheet with you nothing should be pending so from the beginning till this all the lessons what you have read in your english literature you must go through each and every line so that you can solve the comprehension part okay as you saw that the poet has nicely explained the situation the condition 
of a house where they receive the dead body of their loved ones. See, this poem is something to think about. See, here we live our life so happily. But you already read out this poem. What would happen to the small kid who has no sense of the world? Very small kid. Now that kid has to grow up now without his or her father. Such a sad poem and nicely explained by the poet. The poet is Alfred Lord Tennyson. This poem is written by Alfred Lord Tennyson. This poet has nicely explained the situation of a soldier's house after his death. I hope you will read this poem once at home and you will try to understand the depth of this poem. So thank you. Have a good day.